We've been covering a text by Imam Abdullah al-Haddad, which in, in Arabic is under the title, Adab Suluk al-Murid, the etiquettes of the journey of a seeker, right? Um, and that is translated under the title, Good Manners, right? Just Adab, He's just, they just translated that. But specifically, it is a, a treatise that he authored for a, a seeker, or literally a murid. And a murid is someone who has irada that he defines in the beginning. And that is like an aspiration, a desire to travel the way and, and, and reach the knowledge of Allah. Right? So someone who's actively trying to travel along a tariqah, along a spiritual path. They're trying to make suluk. So this is a short treatise for someone like that. And in the years we were privileged to, to translate many people um, taking the covenant in the spiritual path, typically the shuyukh would advise either or both of Book of Assistance and this text, Adab Suluk al Murid, Good Manners. Right? So they would either advise people when someone first took a spiritual path or first took uh, the spiritual path, uh, specifically from the shuyukh of Asada al Ba'alawi, they would advise them either with this book, or with Book of Assistance, or with both. And the advice that they would give is that one should uh, read this book, study this book, with the intention of acting on it. And that they read a chapter and begin acting on it, and then move on to the next. Right? So this is Adab Suluk al murid by the Imam Abdullah al-Haddad. This is a, a risala. This is a letter to us from Imam Abdullah al-Haddad, right, Init to the initial questioner and then to everyone else it reached. And that this applies to myself, he's speaking to me, and this applies to each of you. And we ask Allah tawfiq, that he give us to act on this. And understand that um, when you study someone's works, that is a type of, uh, of suhbah. Right? That is a type of companionship. So there's physical companionship, but there's also a type of company by studying someone's books or listening to someone's recordings. When, you, when you're reading a book, um, our Shaykh uh, Al-Habib Umar Hafidahullah said specifically about this, when you study someone's book, you're keeping the company of the author in the state he was in when he authored that book. Right? So that's, um, that speaks to our caution and our, uh, the care we show to the media that we select to consume, the print or digital or audio media that we can select to consume, and that we, um, we steward our families and our children in their consumption of, because you're keeping those people's company. Right? So if you read, you know, if you're reading Sigmund Freud, you're keeping Sigmund Freud's company. If you're reading Imam Abdullah al-Haddad, you're keeping Imam Abdullah al-Haddad's company. If you read Imam al-Ghazali, you're keeping Al Imam al-Ghazali's company, rahimahumullah. Um, and then also, they have intentions, right? They, may, they teach us too, like in what, third chapter of Book of Assistance, they teach us about making numerous intentions. And he states in the introduction that he's intending himself, the brother who asked him to give him that counsel, and everyone else who it reaches. So he intended that this reach us, and the intention of a knower of Allah is powerful, right? And then in addition to that, um, there's verses of Allah's book. There's sunnah of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. And what are we doing, right? What, are, what is Imam Amin doing? What am I trying to serve? When, if, if a person is invited to Allah in the community of Muhammad, all we're doing is uh, catalyzing the ignition of the invitation of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Right? Or our shuyukh said, we're trying to unearth the da'wah that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has for that person. So there's meanings of the Qur'an for each of us. Right? That we're transmitted and understand that the ultimate da'i is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There's meanings in the hadith for each of us. Right? And I'm saying this so that we um, we have a meshhad, we have a perspective, and we have intentions with respect to what we're taking. 
right? It's Saturday morning, it's kind of, uh, er, not that early, it's Saturday afternoon, but it's a Saturday, we have a small audience, but recognize that, uh, or a small student body, we shouldn't treat it like it's a show, uh, recognize that there's, a, there, for you or I, the one of us that's sadiq, the one of us that's genuine in an aspiration to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's meanings uh, from the book and the sunnah that come uh, on, on, on the pen in this case. We might say the tongue, but we could say more specifically the pen of a choice uh, imam from the family of the Prophet Right? And if we aspire to that, um, anticipate that great gifts will come to you and I uh, from that. So, um, so try to hear what Imam Abdullah al-Haddad is saying to us. Try to hear this um, as from Imam Abdullah al-Haddad and what he is saying to us. And then we want to make his intentions, insha'Allah ta'ala. Um, and we will um, also remind ourselves that he says in this text later that if seekers are genuine, they will find shuyukh at their doorstep. Right? Law sadaq al muridun. Right? That if we're true in our irada, we truly seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? We truly have bayath al irada, an aspiration to travel and draw near to Allah, to turn away from the idleness of this world and dedicate ourselves to Allah in the hereafter. And we're true in that. And truth is focusing oneself inwardly and outwardly. Right? That you do all you can inwardly and all you can outwardly um, in your aspiration. Right? If we're true, as Imam Abdullah Haddad said, uh, we would find our shuyukh on our doorstep. Right? So um, great good can come if we're true. And he said, if we're honest, the only thing lacking is this, is our genuineness, our siddiq, our truth. Right? Because otherwise, uh, the, the, the way is, is totally open to those who are true. He also said, as siddiq al-sayf. Right? He said, truth is a sword that's not placed on anything except that it cuts through it. Right? Um, so that's what we need, and may Allah give us a, a sidq to wajah ilayh. May Allah give us to genuinely turn to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala.